All right, let's talk about the HVT scanner. And this just simplifies your life tremendously, right? Especially if you're pressed for time, right? Especially if you don't have a lot of time for nuance, right? You can use the scanner to actually look for buy or sell signals on a whole host of instruments, right? Stocks, sectors, futures, foreign exchange, optionable instruments, instruments that don't have options, right? And particularly in TOS, you can sort of scan to your heart's content. You can also scan on any time frame, just like you can look at a chart on any time frame, you can scan on any time frame. Do I want to look for buy and sell signals on the 15 minute time frame? Go for it. Want to do it on a daily? Go for it. Want to do it on a weekly? Go for it. All is available to you. All those are available to you in the scanner. In addition to scanning for HVT components or elements, right? You can add in all the other things that TOS has, right? You can, I only want to look at stocks that are between 10 and $50 or 10 and $60 because those tend to have cheaper options that make sense for my account, right? You can look at volume. I only want to look at stocks that trade over 500,000 shares in a particular day. Which stocks are optionable? I only want to look at stocks that have weekly options. What sectors are available? Hey, I want to look at energy stocks. I want to look at financial stocks. I want to look at consumer discretionary. Right? I want to look at technology stocks. You can scan in addition to the HVAT elements, you can scan using all that criteria in TOS. And at the end of the day, it's really up to you and your imagination and your analytical desires on what you can actually scan for in addition to the HVT scanner. And then the next great thing is, is that you can scan and you can get a list of, hey, here's 10 stocks that meet my criteria, but also have a buy signal. You can then create a watch list with those. And that watch list will update automatically and you can monitor what's going on with those particular stocks, futures, foreign exchange, whatever it is that you scan for. So it is extremely flexible, extremely valuable, and truly cuts your time down when it comes to looking for a trade. And so one of the things that, that, that I will do, right, over the weekend when I'm looking for trades is maybe I don't see a lot of unusual option activity that, that floats my boat. But maybe I see that energy's in play, or maybe I see that IT's in play, or maybe I see that financials are in play. Well, maybe my first step isn't necessarily to scan for unusual options activity. Maybe I'll just look for buy and sell signals in that particular sector that I'm interested in, and then I'll go look for some unusual options activity. And at the same time, when I scan, I can not only find the signals, but again, I have all these other things all these other criteria that are available to me. I can I can include a scan of beta. So hey, I want buy signals and I only want betas three or greater. Works out great. So what I try to do, and it's kind of difficult with the scanner, but I tried to give you a cheat sheet on how to set up the scanner. And so here you start to see the final setup of a scan. And we'll walk through how to get to this in, in a second. But there's a couple elements here, right? Let's look at the purple one where, it's, where it talks about the HVT version 2A and it talks about signal down. So I'm looking for a sell signal and it's within three bars. So I'm looking for a sell signal within the last three days, right? Because I'm on a daily. So I'm looking for the last three days. I can look for only yesterday. I can look for the last 10 days. I have complete control over how far back the scanner looks. So that's the first thing. So in this case, I picked three days, you can pick whatever you want. In green, you can see I picked the daily, right? You want the weekly, pick the weekly. You want the four hour, pick the four hour. And then as you can see up in yellow, I wanted weekly options. So I wanted stocks that had a weekly option. And then the last thing, which I didn't highlight here, I wanted stocks with a minimum price, a minimum closing price of $10, right? I don't want to buy options on a $5 stock. That, that doesn't really float my boat. I want $10 or more. Again, I, I can add a whole bunch more criteria, but this was something that's very easy for me to screen on. And so here you can see the list, 
right? And one of them happens to be Las Vegas Sands, and 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 there you see it. And I may have put a picture of the chart in here so we can take a look at it. And I put some other analytical information on it, right? So I've got percent change for the day. I've got the volume for the day. I've got the beta. I've got the put call ratio. Again, endless number of choices and toss of what you want to put. So I picked out Las Vegas Sands. And then I did include the chart on the next page. And there you see the sell signal. Again, I think this is from probably Sunday or Monday when I pulled the chart. But there you see one day back, there's a sell signal. Starts the gears grinding in my head. Okay, what am I going to do with this? What else can I do to confirm this potential trade? So this is exactly how I would scan with the scanner. So let's talk a little bit about how to set this up. And I gave you, I don't know, a handful of pictures here of exactly what to do, as well as with a little bit of text. And 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 I think this is a pretty good guide of from the word go how to set up a new scan. So you start with a new scan. You click on the add filter in the setup there, and you'll see this drop down menu and you click on study. So that's step one. Step two is then you'll see you'll get you always get the ADX crossover study as the standard one. So the next thing you need to do is click on the pencil in order to edit, right? And there you get the edit button in the pop-up. Okay. Step three is you'll get another pop-up. There you go. Where it asks you for the name of the study. And there you see the HVT version 2A-1. And you'll highlight step four. You'll then go to the plot. And you'll pick whether you want a buy or a sell, right? So you select signal down for sells. You select signal up for buys, right? In red, you want to make sure that the is true box is checked off. And then in the upper right-hand corner, you can set the look back period. So in this case, it's three days. If you want a two, put a two in there. If you want to go back 10 days, put a 10 in there. And then you'll hit save. And lo and behold, your scan will show up. And then if you hit the save as a watch list, that'll create a watch list. You can put it on your TOS main page. It'll update as it goes. And you can see and monitor the stocks, the futures, FX, whatever, the AGs, whatever comes up, whatever you're scanning for, you can then monitor it in a watch list. I would say the high value target tool, along with our volatility visualizer tool, which we're gonna do a session on next Friday, those are the two tools that we're using every single day for every trade. 